I have won Ferocious Clan, and yes, I am going to do an Incineroar EX versus everything on ranked. Incineroar versus everyone, just like uh, in Alolan. Um, it's literally that. Uh, it's the tag match against every. It's, it's literally free for all against everything. So I have actually got two decks. I'll put both deck lists in the description. Um, so I have a Pidgeot with Incineroar, okay, with Evolution and Heroes Cape. So Incineroar with 410 HP. And don't forget, we're using the Relic Can. Relic Can. Can't read Relic Can. In the Memory Drive, which allows us to use Litten's Reprisal. Which allows us to do stupid amounts of damage if they don't one shot us. All right? And we're also using the Babao engine to see which one's better. I want to know which one's better. The Pidgeot version or the Babao engine one. We are using four Buddy Buddy Puffins in both. Uh, Magna Basins as well, just so we got the energy as well. Uh, Code Breaker for the Babao, because we can stock Star Birth. Uh, we've got Jet Energies and stuff like that. Uh, and we've also got a similar kind of list for Pidgeot. I want to see which one's best. So, uh, I will go for the Babao one first. A little bit slower, but it still should be good. Um, let's just sort this out. Right. Okay. Okie doke. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, what have I got to do as well? What have I got to do as well? Yeah, that's right. And that's right. Okay. So, uh, let's see what we get. So, we are going to use Incineroar. Now, I did want to put in the special art one. I have got them. Um, uh, but I've, I haven't got three of them. And I think they cost quite a lot to have the three Incineroar thingy bobs. And I kind of need the credits. So if I pull another one, I will, you know, replace it. But I think this one looks cool as well. It just looks like it's going to eat your face. So uh, let's go into it. So we are currently on one win streak. So we're not going to use that. Uh, so we're always going minus one. So we're going to use... Incineroar versus everything on ranked. I am currently here. I want to get to at least here by the end of the stream, hopefully. Okay, so let it commence. Incineroar. Whoa. Okay. Uh, one or two. Why is that? Yeah, that's fine. So I. For some reason it weren't doing what I wanted it to do. It's fine. Okay, so uh we're gonna go first. Cause then we can evolve next turn. We could go se actually no, we should have really gone second because we used TM evolution. Uh we got a litten. Oh, this is bad, isn't it? Maybe I should have gone second here. Ooh, maybe I should have, yeah. Oh, I've got a very can. Um, I need a bowel. So I'm going to get rid of... The boss. And the incineral. I need that in place. I can always super body it back in, so it's not a problem. I'm going to attach to the red can, and then we're going to go. We're just going to keep going. And we're going to keep knocking out, and we're going to keep just 
wiping the floor with them. Now, I wanted some Buddy Buddy Puffins, but we're not going to get that, so it's fine. Um, okay, so. Okay, so what I could do, I could do the barrel. Then I could get it cipher, and then I'll, I will ask for... It's literally like, what do you want to use top of your deck? So I'll probably go for a TM Evolution. And a Buddy Buddy Puffin. And then I could just start evolving. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. She's got the Relican, we've got the ba ba Badoof. They've managed to do one Archie up so far. A research, and that's a Lugian research. Have they got. Hmm. Let's see. Hi, everyone. It's, uh, it's actually just joined. Don't forget to comment down below. Can in cinema face against everything now just if you've never watched if you've watched pokemon and you've watched the series where ash goes to alola he fights in this special uh alola matches where it's like everything against the silver war it's like free it's like a free for all four players against each other and the silver war just beats everyone um it's pretty much that all right so we need um we definitely need This and this. Then draw into it. And every count is bonus. So we need a U. I mean, we go U, U. And you know what? I might as well go for another propel. Okay, and then we're going to TM. Evolution, these two, yeah, oh yeah, right, let's see how we get on here, oh, it's going to be interesting, right, the Lugia is definitely going to be knocking us out. They've got rid of two Archaeopsis, so they are set up. They've got the Chinchino. Chinchino. Okay. Summoning Star. They've got four, so they only need one energy to attack. Don't forget that. Tiles. Probably a Chinchino. Minchino. Alamillion. Okay. Bring it on. Yeah. Go on. Come on, Incineroar. Boss. It's going to be Bow. Yeah. I knew they were going to go for the Bow. It's just, it's always going to be guaranteed. Okay. So he can do... He's going to add to the Chinchino now. I can almost knock out... I need a choice belt. And I can knock out this Lugia in one shot. Okay. Um, can I pull it off? I need to find an energy... And an Incineroar. Okay. Let's draw for five and see what we get. Right, we've got the energy. Then we're going to Iona. And 
we have got Uh, have I got the choice pal? I have. Right, Incineroar. Let's do it. Right. Uh, I always got missed energy, so I can't actually do the burn. Boo! I knew you were going to retreat. Think you're going to do clap stadium? Yep. How annoying is that? I can't bench my Charizard now. Oh, if I had Hero's Cape, I'm starting to feel like the Pidgeot version might be the one. Uh, sole reason is I can find exactly what I need. Okay. Right. Right. No, I do need to knock you out. I'm going to bench you. Put this here. Then do... Just what I needed it as well. Awesome. So I've lost an Incineroar and a Fick House. Uh, I can get an Arvern. And a choice belt. Uh, no, right. I can get an Incineroar. And then what do I want next turn? What do I need? Hero's Cape. Rare Candy. I can make him use more energies. So 400. Right, okay. So we could just go this bomb and fill the burn. Woo! -hoo. Hey, don't forget if you if you're just tuning in, comment down below what you think of Incineroar. Is it an underrated card? I mean the damage it can do is only limited to what you think. So it can one shot almost anything basic. It don't forget, it's not 240 it does, it's 260, because you do burn after. That adds an extra 20 damage. So you're actually doing 260 for one energy, if there's four Pokemon on the bench. Have you got enough energy? It will be everything you've got. You don't have enough energy. Do you have enough energy? He's got 10. And he's probably prized some as well. He's got one in his hand. And it's still not enough to knock me out. I've just out. Have I outlasted you? Oh. Oh. Right. I've got counter catcher as well. I still haven't even thrown down a Magna Basin, by the way. This hero's cape is disgusting. Ooh. 
Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see how we get on with this. So this person, we're waiting on this person to make a move. He can, he can't attack. <laughs> no. He did, didn't he? Well, I'm taking that away from you. <laughs> uh, and I will do code and get a blaze. And what else do I want? I want a Magna Basin as well. And they've conceded. <laughs> oh, boy. They're not going to like this. Incineroar. Oh, yeah. I'm going to climb the ranks with this. Now, if you're just tuning in, I am using... Uh, I've got two Incineroar decks. I'll put both de deck lists in the description. So we've got a Pidgeot version, okay, with Hero's Cave. I think the Hero's Cave on Incineroar is disgusting. And I've also got a Babao engine. And it's a similar kind of deck, but we've got a few things that are different. But we're still using TM Evolution, uh, just so we can get past the D Evolution. Um, and it helps as well. Now, I will be pretty much testing out both on the stream i'll see how far i can get with the bell and then i as soon as i say i've lost maybe two matches then i'll swap uh and then go to the pidgeot so we're gonna go first okay oh right I don't, I hate that it's just a litten up front, by the way. It is so scary. Oh my God, this is so scary. Prized some stuff as well. I'm going to put the fire there. And then just pray. All I can do is pray. Oh dear. Oh dear. I should have gone second. I think this deck needs to go second if you're going to do TM Evolution. Just to find them buddy buddy puffins, because as soon as I get the buddy buddy puffin going, I'm laughing. Right. Trekky shoes. This is a very underrated deck. The Roy, uh, the ancient box, Roy Moon. I think it is a very strong deck, single prize deck. Um, but we'll we'll see, won't we? Ah, Kira. Um, I do think it is viable. Um, well, first I'm going to put uh, another litten down just to make sure. Uh, and then I'm going to do an oven. Uh, I want to a bow, but I don't know what I could. Uh, I'd have to get rid of another Arvin and a Cryptomaniac. I might have to. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, it is viable, yes, Kira. Um, I think I definitely think it is. Oh, 
I definitely think it is. I think Incineroar is stupidly OP. Uh, I could actually attack now and skip the evolution, but would it be enough? Uh, yeah, sorry. it. Go on. No more evolution. We're just going to put an energy here. And ooh. we're going to evolve this. But yeah, I do, and I do love. Uh, I like the Litten, but I really it is it's Cinewall. Cinewall is one of my favourites, Kira. Um, did I say it right? Hopefully, I said it's right. Uh, your name, um, and yeah, I think it is the first time you've seen me live. Uh, you viewing me live while I'm live. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really good fun. Thank you. Uh, sometimes I, I can get names wrong when I read them, pronunciations and stuff like that. Um, it's just my, me being English, being British. We're not educated enough with languages and stuff like that, like most of Europe and stuff like that. It doesn't matter, though. Um, you get what I mean. Anywho, I am really hoping that I can pretty much destroy everything with a cinema because... I think it's awesome card and being able to attack for one fire energy that can do up to 260 damage uh, because don't forget you have to do the burn as well and they've got nothing okay so they've got nothing right let's fill out the deck a little bit i'm gonna put uh oh that down then I'm going to do Code Breaker, and then I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to choose to go on top uh, I forgot any fire engines just a jet so I definitely need um, this and this And then find everything else after. Then I can go straight into it. Awesome. Then I can get rid of this for some fire energies. Which is awesome. I can attach to you. Buddy Buddy Puffin. And get two more. Littons. I got the Littons. I've got a full litter now. And then all I need to find now is my hero's cape, and I am going to be beastie. So I've just got rid of some of their draw power. Ooh, a tour cat. Yeah. So don't forget, if they do damage to me, I can just use memory drive and use Litten's reversal. Which, don't forget, if they do 100 damage, I'm doing 200 damage for two energies. Now, if they do, uh, what is it? to 50 to me i'll be doing 300 i think it is ah crook cracker rack how are you and philippe oh hello and good night hello and it is night for me i am doing a late one tonight i don't care it's sunday i don't care. it's saturday now um it's still saturday and I want to do some really good live streaming here. So I have got, um, so I want to put another energy on you, but I'm going to put it on this just so I can do its attack. Uh, and what do I want? What do I want? I want to, if I, they've got a bad hand though. I don't want to give them six cards. Let's do an oven and we will find, um, an ultra ball. What have I got in my hand? Super rod. Okay. And I need a tool, don't I? Okay. Uh, I am going to put this on the toy cat. And then I'm going to bow for two. Nice. 
I have nothing to throw away except for the Iona. So I'm going to get rid of the Babao and the Iona because I don't want that. I want another Incineroar. All charged up and ready to fight. Urgh. I'm glad you're good, Crackerack. And I am just going to nuke everything. Now, it looks like I've actually prized my hero's cape. There it is. I don't care how much damage they can do. Uh, what are they doing at the minute? That's 1, 2, so that's 20, 40, 50. They're doing 50 extra, so that is 120. That's still not enough to knock me out. That's 100. And 60 now, which is, I think that's just enough. Is it just enough? I think it's just enough. I'm good, actually. Um, I thought I was going to have to go to work tomorrow, but I don't now because um, we had a load of contractors in and stuff like that today and I'd be up really early. I'd be at work at 7 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Uh, and I don't work weekends normally. Uh, so it was really good. And they've conceded. Oh, second win streak in a row. So the rule is, everyone, because uh, Incineroar is going to fight against everything, right? So I'm only using Incineroar. So I have two decks. And I think I've just ranked up. Yeah. I think this is the highest I've ever got. Um, so... I've got a Babao Incineroar with the Radzan and the Relican, okay? Similar, it's got Code Breaking, Hero's Cape, Shralala and all that. But we also got a Pidgeot version as well. GG's, GG's. Uh, I've got a Pidgeot version as well. Uh, so I don't know which one is better. But what I'm going to test out tonight, going against everything, is... Is the Pidgeot version of Incineroar better or the Babel? Now, what I'm going to do is, um, if the deck gets two losses, so the Babel one, I swap over to the Pidgeot. And then hopefully it just wins and it's really good. Uh, if it doesn't, well, it's just, I want to see how good Incineroar is and which version of Incineroar is better. And I think I've got something nice here. Ooh. Yeah. Three stuff and a prime catcher. I've got a prime catcher, but it's always nice. I need a real prime catcher. I haven't managed to pull one from the packs yet. Uh, for real life, you know, card playing. Um, I've I've got a, a Master Ball, uh, the Ancient A-Spec, and I've got a Maximum Belt as my a specs at the minute i've got real life and i really like this drumper um yeah okay cool so and don't forget the the if you're asking about the debt list the debt lists both of them are in the description i haven't changed them okay so yeah and i also want to know as well which is your favorite fire pokemon which is the best you think now, I don't want to start any arguments or fights. I just want to know what your personal opinion is of which is the best fire type. Obviously, the best looking. It's not about strength. It's what you think you prefer, what you like. A Cineroar is my favorite fire type. And then it's Charizard. Okay? Um, but it's Cineroar, it, I mean, just look at it. It's, it's amazing. Any any fire type, it could be a fire fairy, it could be fire metal, it could be fire dark. It's as long as it's, it's got fire in it, it's fine. Okay, so I have got a choice here, and oh, all right, we're gonna go for this, and this. Much love to Brazil, mate. Um, I 
it is one of the places I want to go because um, I'm actually half Portuguese. So uh, I've got family in, uh, in Funchal uh, and all around the world and in Portugal. So, um, you know, Brazil is speaks Portuguese. It has Portuguese roots. Um, it is important to me as well. And plus, they're excellent football players. Definitely football. Best football. One of the best... It is. Next to Portugal, Ronaldo, you know, you know how it is. Everyone's got their favourite. Mine's Ronaldo, of course. Um, okay, so I am going to go for extra energy here. And then I'm going to go for this. Oh, I don't really want to put the Zard up front. So, and I'm just going to end the turn. Uh, I know they're going to keep trying to get my Bidoofs. I have got Jet Energies for that. Um, but please let me know. So, are you, uh, Kira, are you a Helm Doom fan? Which I do like Helm Doom because it looks like a dog as well. I'm a big dog fan. So, uh, Helm Doom, I like. Right. So, what is your favourite? Fire Pokemon. Any fo fire Pokemon. It can have dual typing, triple typing. I don't mind. I'd like to know. And thank you, Philippe, as well. Um, it does really... It does help when you get to them points where you stream, you lie, your content kind of goes a bit stale or not as many... You don't get as many views or likes. It's really weird when you get... You hit this, like, slump and... When you hit like the six month marker, Thai Fusion. Fair enough. The ghost type one or the normal one? There's two. The Hisurian. Is it a Hisurian and there's the normal one? Which one do you prefer? Oh, that was that was that was nasty stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, I've got an Incineroar. I am going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. Ha ha ha! Never punished. Bomb. So, which which Typhlosion is it? you like the ghost or the uh normal i do like the ghost one it looks really cool uh i've got tour cat okay right and i haven't got enough to attack darn it oh well the normal one okay which generation is that is that third generation or fourth generation oh look it's 240 just the right amount of HP for me to knock out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. Ah, ah, ah. Right. Right, it's just used one, so he's going to mill four more cards from my deck. Lucky enough, I do have a super ride, but I am worried that he will mill that out as well. Okay. Um... Yeah, keep the chats going. I like it. I like it. Um, oh, that's all my tour cats. Is that? Oh, that's most of all my tour cats there. Right, okay. Uh, right, I need to put the jet on you. And then I. How many body body puffins have I got left? Oh, uh, I'm going to do an IO now. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for this and this. And I'm going to get another Litten out, just so I can attack with. Um, and I can Magna Basin to the Litten as well. Then I can do this. Armor Rouge. Cannons for hands. Awesome. I do like it. I do like it. 
Okay, so we've got the Littons as well. And I do want the Littons back in there. Uh, I'll, I think I'm going to wait until next, the next one. The next meal. Okay. I own that, which is really good for us. So I will be just I owning and getting stuff out. Uh, Armour Rouge, definitely. Uh, any more? Anyone's favourite Pokemon? I've, I've got one from Martin. And thank you for joining the stream as well. Kira as well, the Helm Doom. Liking it. And Philippe as well, the Typhlosion. Uh, awesome choices. Is there any love for Incineroar? It is. Lugia Archeops with the Chichino is crazy good. Um, it can be sometimes um, a little bit... Um, let me just... Do this. So I think my borders are my. It's eating away at the ends of the words, I think. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah. So Lugia is really, really strong. You can't fault it. And I've just lost an Incineroar. Okay, so we need to super add some stuff back in. Uh, so it's Incineral, you, and you. Uh, and then I need to put a basic energy on you. I will Iona until I find something I need. I can use Typhlosion. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to keep attacking and knocking this out. Bomb. Can I do it in time? Yeah, um, I am a big Lugia fan. I've, I have got a deck video coming out for Lugia. It's my personal ch build that I, I've made it for... Of course, big attacking with Chichino, but Lugia suffers from inconsistency. If you get bad hands, stuff like that. So you need to be able to have plenty, and I mean plenty, of Pokemon search and discard. If you don't, well, it, 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 it flops. Um, but I have got a full... Um, What's it called? I've got a full Lugia deck and I've got a full Arceus uh, deck and I've got a full Roy Moon deck as well. The only thing, no way, I'm only missing a Prime Catcher uh, in real life. So I've got a massive binder of all my deck cards, all my supporters and stuff like that. Um, so it's right, Litten and Fire. Okay, so I've got my jet and I've got that. Uh, I'm just going to just do this. Take that out. Right. What am I going to do against this Mimikyu now? Huh. Just figured something out. Talk at. Ah. I haven't lost an Incineroar yet. Oh, T, how are you doing? Um, you good? I hope you're good. Um, yeah, I am literally challenging everything on ranked with Incineroar. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It is really good fun. Um, 
Oh, why did you have to do that? Have I lost any bosses? I've lost one. There's a rare candy. I don't need that. Um, mm, 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 mm. There's always a way. There's always a way. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm great. Just saw you where you love to sort to jump in. Brilliant. Thank you, T. I do appreciate it. I do love everyone, that, you know, is subscribers and stuff like that. Is the deck working good for you? It is. I'm on my second win or third win on the row. I think it's third win. On trot with this Babel Incineroar deck. Um, it's similar to like a Charizard deck, but with Incineroar instead of Charizard. Um, but we have some special cards in here as well. Uh, we do use some jet energies and stuff like that. Uh, the four body buddy puffins, because every single Pokemon, except for the Redican, of course, is, you know. Um, right, okay. So... Yeah, I'll still do it with that. And I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm just going to nuke you. I think I've got it. Oh, come on. Um, Yeah, it's really working. It's Cineroar. It's nasty. I mean, look at this beast. The 420 HP. That can do two... Six, well, it's 240, but it's 260 with burn. Um, and you put a choice bat on it, and that's 290 uh, because of the burn. And then if you put a, um, yeah, and you can use Litten's Reprisal that allows you to do stupid amounts of damage if you've got stupid amounts of damage on you, and you can knock out everything. Yeah, 420. It's beasty, and I love it. Right, so I've just played the Sada. And he can mill four cards. He's on his last card, so he's got to do the Vanishing Wings, or he loses. He's decked. He's decked out. GG. <laughs> yeah. I um. It's just consistent attack, 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 and just and if say, so don't forget this does twenty. So the Litten, its reprisal, will do twenty damage for every damage counter on this. You do 200 on this damage. It's ridiculous damage. It is really ridiculous damage. Uh, yes, it's. I haven't changed anything. So the deck list that's in the description are both decks I'm using. So I've got the Pidgeot version and the Babel. I haven't changed a single thing in it. And I don't need to do anything with it as well. It's that good. Um... And, yeah, I've won. I won. That's my third or fourth win. I don't know which one it is. We'll find out in a second. Let's see. Is the chat box not tall enough? Hmm. So I may I literally customized all of this before the stream. Just so that it looked all nice and jazzy in that. 
Um, so I want to make sure it all looks good. So, and, you know, my OCD with like, it's got to be perfect. Um, so yeah, I've just done, there's a lot of damage. I did 1200 damage there, um, which is nuts. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we are on at the minute. As soon as I show it four, four win streak at the minute with Incineroar. So that's the deck list for the battle, all right? With the Heroes Key, code break, code breaking, bosses and stuff like that. And we've got a Pidgeot version as well with the TM Evolution, um, with jets and stuff like that, and Magnum Basins and Earthly Vessels. Because we only use seven energies, you need to have Earthly Vessels. I was going to use two, but I think three is better because you've got more chance of drawing into it and finding that energy. So we are almost at my target rank at the minute as well, which is not the Court of Night, the next one, um, which is going to be the highest I've ever got because don't forget, I test a lot of decks and I lose quite a lot on ranked because I'm testing decks and they might not be perfect and they might brick. Uh, so it affects my rank. Uh, but since they did this update, please let me know. Do you think that the update actually helped you get higher rank? Uh, because I've never got to the max rank, which is mass. Is it master? Or is it Arceus? Is it the top? I think it is. I will. I will, T. I will. Which one do you prefer, T or real? Or T real? All right. Well, it's going to be the Bidoof because it would be easier to get out. Keep going first. Why do I keep going first? Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, I will check you up. End of turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you real. Is that right? Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> it looks like I'm playing against Charizard deck. Now, this could be a very good test. Uh, to be honest with you. Let's see how this does. I haven't got any item cards. Sorry, Eerie. I do love that art. Look at that. Look at it. It looks awesome. That's one of the coolest arts, though. Um, so I've got Iona and I've got Hero Escape. I'm going to put Hero Escape on here. And then I am going to Iona. Fantastic. Um. Uh, uh, let's see Buddy Puffin. And put this on there. See if I can find an Incineroar. Close. Can't attack yet, though. That's a shame. Right. It's 180 as well. There's the Pidgeot. Even Pidgeot can't knock us out. <laughs> oh, it just dropped off. What? Oh. Oh, well. I don't know what it is with live stream. When you live stream and it, it, it goes really high and it just drops off. And you're like, what's going on? Have I done something wrong? I don't know. Right. That really does not help. That was a really bad... Oh, it's a Snorlax stall. Oh, I've put a Bidoof down. The barrel. Okay. Uh, right. Uh... 
I think I might lose this because I, I I have got some gift jet energy, but oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And there's a mini queue as well. Oh, what am I gonna do? He starts bossing stuff up. I'm buggered. If I knew it was a stall, I would have just gone Littons and no Papal, no nothing. Just. Mmm. All right, let's see what I can do with this. I'm allowed two losses. That's how I'm going to do it in this. <laughs> um, Iona. Okay, so we're going to go for another... No, we don't want another Litton. I will go for Magna Basin. I will get this and get the energies down. So then I can attach to uh, this one. Magna Basin to this one. Then I can do a Iona. Are you serious? Okay. Old school way it is. Not a single thing I can do here, but I can do 40. Uh, where is all my incinerals? Where are you? Where is my incinerals? I should have been knocking him out by now. All right. I should have been knocking him out. Boss, here it comes. Here it comes. Quick search, and then it's probably going to be anything. It's probably going to be like a uh, counter catcher. Uh, even on. <laughs> I really don't know what to do here. Psychic so energy can retreat now. He's going to put the boss. He's going to put the Snorlax in. Uh, mm. It's going to be another Snorlax block. Yeah. So I can't retreat now. Oh, I hate the blocks sometimes. It's a jet. Okay. In cinema. Uh, should I draw? I think I will draw. An Arvin, which is good. Right. Uh, I have got this. I wish the pre-evolutions actually had Shred. Uh, if it had Shred, it'd be really good. There's my other Incineroar. Right. I think I've only got three Jets as well. I've got no Tauros. Or collapses. If they get another Babao or Redican in the active, I can't do nothing. Oh. You're just a monster. You're just a beast. Ah! If this was like proper TTG, real cards and everything else, I would have conceded straight away and then planned to actually only just play Litten. Um, what was that you just got rid of? My Super Rod. 
artisan. And you're going to get another block. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, what can I get from this? What can I get from this? What card can help me get this out of the active? I don't think there is. Um, I'm going to put the evolution on. And I'm just going to put battle for two. That didn't help, did it? Damn. I can use an Arthur and find... Um, right, okay, and now I'm going to do this and fail. And then I'm going to put that up there and end the turn. I talk, I do. Hi, Stewie, how are you? Uh, so we've managed to win my last matchup timeout with Charizard deck using Scrivit Nest for minutes. One minute. So dull. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, but the don't forget the, the Charizard Babao is really strong. Um, to be honest, it is very strong. It's very Iona proof and judge proof. Uh, it is a slower game, though. It is a slower game. I have to admit, it is slower. But, okay. I need to find a... Right. Uh, I'm going to put another energy on you. Then I'm going to incise us. Charizard and that. Right. Okay, right. I just need to find... Maybe I should have just been charging this up. And then attacking with it. I don't know, actually. Should I have just been... Uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five... I've got two energies left. I think I... Oh, yeah, but if they put the incineral, I can't do nothing. Daisy, help. Oh, anyone, can you help? Would you do it? Can I actually... Have I got a win con here? They've just done the Daisy, help arc phone. That's crazy. Look at his hand as well. I need to kill this Pidgeot, I think. Where's my boss? I've lost two eye owners. Ah. Good, 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 good. Jet. Okay. Go for one. See if we can find a boss. Incineroar. I don't want to use that yet because um, I can use Torcat to kill. Uh, Mini Q. Right, okay. They have no Snorlax at the minute. Two Snorlaxes in there. Uh, I can't believe they haven't felt anyone. Um, yeah. Do I still have a wing con? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Right, so if they bench four Pokemon, I only have to put one. So for every bench, I have to put an energy. So at the minute, have they prized some Snorlaxes? They have. 
So they must have some nest balls now. But can I attack using the pre-evolution stuff, though? I don't know. I'm not sure, you know. Can I? Does it work? Should we find out? Oh, we've got the Marwell trap. Oh, my God. Seriously. <laughs> Please comment. See, do you know it? Does anyone who's watching have I got a win con here? I don't know. Okay. Zero, zero, yeah. Um. Oh, wait a minute. I do. And then I need to... Cryptomaniac. Boss. Boss. And they don't know what I've put in there as well. And I can use Magna Basin to put fire energy back onto the Incineroar. Then I can do this. This is why I've got the tour cap. Fire energy. Uh, but I haven't got any fighting, no. He's going to counter catch me or boss me or I guarantee he's going to do one of them now. Now he's got the Marwell. I think I need to boss up that Marwell first. Oh. <laughs> Did you just see that? And you get you rocks, you beast. Uh, that's a jet energy there. Jet en two a jet energies there. I don't think I've got a wing card now. I need to look into the deck. I don't know. Ah! If you see a Pidgey, don't put up a vowel down. Right. I've got one energy. Uh, and end the turn. I don't think, yeah, I've lost, I've lost. I've got no more switches. I've got no nothing. If I didn't put the Relican down and the Babao down, I could have just kept attacking with these. And I've completely buggered myself. And they're just eating through my deck as well. I don't think I can win this. Damn. Yeah, that's it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Babel has lost one. So, make a note. Babel has lost one match out of five. One, four. But it was against Snorlax Stall. And if I knew it was a Snorlax Stall, 
I wouldn't have benched the Relican. I wouldn't have benched the Bidoof. Um, you just don't know. But if I see that person again, I will not. I will just put Kit uh, Littons in. Um, there is a certain way you have to play against Snorlax. And having Babao sometimes can be a nightmare. Now, if I had a Pidgeot and I put two energies on it, I could attack with it. Um, right. I'm going to do this for a minute. Because I don't know what they got. I'm putting my Litten up front. I am learning. I am learning from my mistakes. Uh, there's dark energies here. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going second as well, which is interesting. So it's Roy Moon. We're safe from the Snorlax stalls. I mean, I love. I don't mind going against Snorlax stall if I'm using my Arceus deck, um, because. Or my or a Lugia deck, because you, you can just play around the Stormlight Storm with them decks. You do need to know learn how to play against them. Sometimes it it will make a difference. Sometimes, um, practice does make so it's yeah exactly. If you overbench, you saw what I did there. Where I didn't actually put any Bidoofs or anything down. I just put the Litten down. I know it's risky. But it's better than being absolutely bombozled by uh, everything else. So I've got one to a cat, two Bidoofs, uh, two Cineroars, a Redican, Hero Escape, and seven Energies. Nice. And I think I've lost something as well. So, I will just leave it as that. I think one of the Littons have been prized. Um, I can do... Whatever I pull next, I'll use get an Ultra Ball so I can get Bidoof down. And then I can put the Tour Cat in. And then maybe find a Rare Candy. Yeah, it, it can be really difficult sometimes, um, but it is what it is. Uh, I've put, look, you know, it, I am challenging everything on ranked with just Incineroar. Two different decks, uh, PG and, well, Pidgeot and Babel, but I want to see which one's best. And also, I want to see personally, can Incineroar be meta? And I think it can. It has everything there. It has high HP. It has an excellent ability. If it did a tiny bit more damage, everyone would be using it. Um, but it does do 260 with the burn. If you haven't got Ancient Booster Capsule. Okay. Now, there are... 1, 2, 3. So, it's doing 100 now. So I need to guarantee I need to get energy and some other stuff as well. I've got a jet as well, which is not bad. Uh, I'm going to do... Oh, oh, this is interesting now. The jet could help me get the two energies I need. So they've got three. I need the four. I'm going to have to do it. I didn't want to do it that way, but I'm going to have to. Now, I don't want to use the jet yet. I want to find a Magna Basin. All that. I have got to look at that's cool. Right. I know I can't do it for the both tour cats, but it's fine. 
I'm going to go two prizes down now. Uh, when you overbench in wrote on V, its first turn was clever, uh, but it was deliberate. Yeah, and the cape is better than the max amount for this deck. Yeah, um, I think the cape is better. Sole reason is we still can't hit the numbers for uh, Charizard EX with this. Um, unless they do a lot of damage to us, then we can. Um, okay. And they're deliberately not putting more than four Pokemon on the bench, by the way. Okay. Uh, I need to put some energy here. There we go. Um, two forty. Let's just start knocking them out before they can knock us out. Oh, yeah, but I think cape. If I put a cape on here, how hard is it going to be for Roy Moon to knock me out? It's going to be hard. Well, the EX could do Frenzy Gouging, but I mean, 420 HP Pokemon that can do 260 damage for one energy normally. Mm -mm -mm. It's a nasty piece of work. And I like it. It's cinema. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Anyway, uh, so we've asked well, who's favourite. Stewie, what's your favourite T and real? What's your favourite fire Pokemon? Can you let me know? Uh, I think Till did, didn't you? Uh, did you? No, no, no. But, um, yeah, let me know which is your favourite fo fire Pokemon. It could be any fire Pokemon. It's fine. Okay. So, Nat's going to do 130. Okay. Am I going to... Wait a minute. I can't attack now, can I? No. I need to put another energy on you. Then I will put a TM Evolution on you. I will... A Bell. Uh... Two good cats and that. I've priced some stuff as well. Uh, I'm doing 300 damage now. So 150 is 300 damage, by the way. When you put the relic on in. I just need the hero's cape and then I'm, I'm golden. I actually got the oven as well, which is really annoying. Um, I think he's got enough to knock me out now. Uh, two, four, six, eight, which is one fifty. Yeah, it's doing 150 now, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that's still the deal now. And I haven't got another bench in Cinnabar. Lovely. I think that's just done it for him. Added an extra 30, which will knock me out now. Dark patch to you. Okay, capsule. Damn. I needed to put the cape and I couldn't put the cape on because I couldn't get the oven in time. No. I'm going to have to put you up front first. Right, okay. So I need to find... Yeah, I've got nothing here. 
Although Nest Ball would work, but I need the Charizard. Okay, uh, and we're going to get the Cape. Right, we're going to jet up this. Got a choice belt on you. Then the barrel for one. We do get the litten as well. We're going to put the magna basin on one as well. <clears throat> Can we survive? I don't know. I'm still playing Zard. Uh, this deck loves looks interesting though it is and in cinema it's cool i mean i couldn't they keep knocking out my littens and i couldn't do nothing about it but um yeah that's the only problem and it's going for my other litten which is a, another problem uh and he's going off to knock me out now so he's pretty much won this so i'm gonna let him do the damage and then concede because i can't win now he's he's, he's knocked me out uh, I'm going to put that there. Right. Okay. So, unfortunately, Babao has lost two matches. So, we're going to swap over to Pidgeot. Let's see if Pidgeot can do it. I've got a funny feeling the Pidgeot is going to be the way. Just because of the quick search. And it's a good attacker. Right, so we're going to go for the Pidgeot version now. So we got four wins with Incineroar, and then we lost twice, okay? Now, on ideal record, say at a, a regional, I think it's, is it six, two, one, I think. Uh, six, two, one is what you need to get into day two depending on how big the tournament is oh this is going to be interesting let's see what happens eh uh let's see what happens so look right okay right 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 yeah, shame there's no room for the Pogo Zard. Oh, Pogo! Oh, yeah. Well, you don't really need it because the Cinemore does the does the job. Is that for your Zard deck or this deck? Right. Okay, I can do a Litten here. Right. I'm going to put an energy here. Put this here. And uh, I'm not going to put the hero cape on. But I am going to do evolution. Ah. What? I'm oh, sorry. That's fine. Right. Okay. So I have got the PGR straight up evolution which is cool um you can have the pidgey up the pidgey rare candy pidgey up are you gonna attach an engine attack we could be He is. Damn. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see it being. I mean, I've got a lot of Pokemon already in this deck. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, what do I want up front?
I don't believe this. How did that happen? How did that happen? How can I pull all the Pidgeots and stuff? If I just put... Yeah. I misplayed there. I should have put the Turcat up front. Yeah. I messed up there. That's my fault. Not the deck's fault. That's my fault. Right, I'm going to go first this time. All right, let's see what they're playing first before we see anything else. Oh, if I see a root arm, I'm not benching Relican. I've so learnt my lesson from stall decks. It's a squawky belly. Yeah, it's not going to be one of them. Okay, it's fine. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I want to get... Okay, that's the best I can do what I had in my hands. <laughs> and I've pretty much got nothing in my hands now. Hmm. Do you know, am I playing this deck right? Have I built it right? This this Pidgey, Pidgey art, um, in cinema with the evolutions or should I just go hardcore, just rare candies, and just evolve and just risk it? I'm not sure. Please comment down below. Any advice is always good advice. And plus, also, I like to know which fire Pokemon is your favourite. Or, what would be, uh, what decks are you planning to use? You did not just do that. Right, okay. I need Uh, I'm going to have to end the turn. I've got nothing that I could throw away. This person's getting so lucky at the minute. Um, there's a Greninja. I think this is a Roy Moon deck. Did he even use the Squawker Billy? He must have really liked that hand not to throw anything away. Cycling Road. Canteen Cologne. Okay. Just thinking, what else can I use here? And I concede, I'm not going to count that. I am going to count it, but I'm not going to count it. Um, it's not how I thought it was going to go. All right. Is there a better way to play this Incineroar with Pidgeot? I mean, I like having the two Toil Cats. Uh, 
Let's duplicate it. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the evolutions. Get four Ardens. I'm going to go for four Ionas, though. Uh, maybe two Super Rods. Hey, comment down below what you think I should probably be putting in here. Uh, oh, I don't know. I was thinking Silene, actually. Just to get the rare candies back. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Iona's cool. Uh, not vacuum. Magnet, no. Nest balls, no. Hell pad, no. What can help me? Me. Or will the evolutions actually help? Maybe having one will help. Uh... But what do I put in for the rest? Where what would help me the most? I was thinking that Mer skateboard makes your Pokemon have one less retreat cost. Or a Toro. Uh, uh, Monty's extra draw. Nest ball. Um, let's see. Um, I don't want to use Larry. I do like Larry, but I can't use Larry. Um, oh, this is really difficult. Oh. What to do, what to do, what to do. Do you know what? I'm going to put a bill transfer in here. Why not? It's old school. Bill transfer, if you didn't know, I think it looks at the top, card, top eight cards of your deck. If you find any Pokemon, you put them all the Pokemon you find from the top eight go straight to your hand and then you shuffle your deck. Yeah. So you can get as many Pokemon as possible that is at the bottom of your deck. Uh, top eight. So, yeah. And why does my phone keep... I've got a smartwatch and it keeps disconnecting and letting me know, oh, it's disconnected. But it's downstairs. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Right, okay. Am I going first? I think I am. Okay. I've got Buddy Buddy Puffin, which is really cool. <gasps> I've, I've prized two Littons. Uh, okay. I don't want anything else, really. So, wait a minute. Did I? I didn't even change the deck, though. Ha! <laughs> I didn't hit, uh, thingy, Bob. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I guess I can go for two Pidgeotis. No. One. Right. So, it is a mill. Okay. And 
I will check this out. Then do this. Okay, so can we do anything here? And this is the original deck as well. Uh, the fur. <laughs> this person's called the Furry Party, by the way. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Come on. Incineroar versus everything. I know I can beat a mill deck, but you have to play in a certain way against a mill deck. Um, and people are learning to play against Incineroar, where they they are purposely minimising their bench, which is really interesting. Which is one of the flaws of the deck, is that. Um, but it's just one of them. Um, okay. Stream is excellent. Okay. Uh, I've got an Iona and that. I'm going to get this. I'm going to Iona. What did they just get rid of? A Charizard. Excellent. Fire. That. Poor cat. I still haven't got enough to attack yet. Okay. You are going to mill me. But if you mill any, any uh, energy, it's going to go straight onto the tour cat, by the way. So be warned, Great Tusk. No, it's not active yet. Need one more Pokemon. And we're good. And that's a jet. That's a shame. Oh, well, let's see if we can win. 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 And then I can do Pidgeot. And I want Earthly Vessel. Okay. And then we're just going to do 240, 240, and just keep nuking. While we've got so many cards in our deck, we are just going to keep nuking. Ah, we've got another Litten, but we don't want to put that down. Um, so we want to put some energy on the Pidgeot, and we want to put some energy on the Tour Cat. Okay, so let's go from there. We have lost one Jet, unfortunately, and that's really annoying. But still... Incineroar. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Now, is it a supporter? It's a supporter. So, the Earthly Vessel doesn't count. And I haven't played one yet. Can sell cards. They are looking. They're looking. Hopefully they've poised all of them. Oh no, they haven't. All right, here comes the mill. But he needs to double turbo though. Well, he can't do nothing. No. So that must have been two important cards to throw away that. Another great task. There's a double. It was important. It was a double turbo. So they can mill four cards now. Uh, are they going to do anything else? Right. What was that? A tour cat and an oven. Right. Okay. So we are at 240 here. Uh, I will. I see a Pidgeot, and I want another Earthly Vessel. You'll see why in a second. Right.
I want to do this just in case. And then just do 240 and just knock out. So I'm minimizing my deck searching. Well, my digging into the deck by only using what I need. So this already against Great Tusk is better. Uh, but is the version I just built better though? I don't know. But don't forget, uh, you, you've seen it. I have got the descriptions. Deck descriptions are below of both Pidgeot and Babel Incineroar decks. Um, I have altered the Pidgeot one because I think you can't really play it as much as an Evolution, TM Evolution deck. I think that's where it was flopping at first and failing and not doing what I need. Uh, it's done another Sardat, so that means they can do... A Onto a great toast and draw three. Right. Okay. Right. Do you need that energy? Or have you... What have you done? What are you doing? And you're going to mill me for four. He is going to mill me for four. Ah! Oh my god, really, 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 land collapse. Oh, boss, it was a boss. Okay, okay, okay. It's still good, it's still good. Cinemore is still being able to knock stuff out. Uh, I am going to do this. And just in case, because then I can actually, even if they have only one Pokemon, I could still attack, which is really cool. Uh, and I might need to bench this energy as well. I have got a Super Rod. And I am literally just picking this person apart. And I haven't even used my Pidgeot. I didn't use my Pidgeot search, by the way. And they need to bench something or they can't do anything. And I could just attach. I've got five energy, so it doesn't matter. I can attack no matter what now. And yeah. Does the Great Tusk have to be in play when you play a supporter? Just got a top card of your deck. If you've played an Ancient Booster card from your hand during this turn, okay, I don't think it has to be in the active to actually or be in play for its effect to do the extra three mil of the, um, you know, the milling attack. This land collapse. Um, that's why we got the tour cap. That's why we got the tour cap for. So I could just find a jet energy and jet up and kill the mini queue when I need it. No one. That's why I've te kept it as a tour cat. Because I can do the 80 damage and knock out the mini queue. Right, okay. So I have got an incineral there. I've got a I don't want to do anything. I want to just keep doing this. And that's that gone. So no more drawing power. Then it's just the mini queue. Okay. This person's struggling against me. And he's put them great tusks back in. How many support cards have you got left? Yeah, it's got some. Oh dear. Ooh. I think the mill is a very strong meta deck. If Sun decks just if people just don't know how to play against it. I think you will lose. Um, and it is literally a race. Can you knock out all their Pokemon before they mill you out? And that is it. That is pretty much it. Can you mill them before they mill you? Can you defeat them before they mill you? Uh, and you're going to counter capture. Why would you do that? 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. Pantrama. I knew I was going to see it. Do you know, I haven't really seen it at all. Unranked lately. Pantrama. It's so OP against, um, you know. Right, okay, so we're going to put a fire energy on this. And then I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to put Magna Base down. I don't want them to be able to do anything. Okay. All I need to do is knock out one Great Tusk and I've won. And I've still got 18 cards in my deck. This has not gone the way you wanted it, Fairy Party. Oh, you've been thumbs up. You do thumbs up? I do thumbs up. Okay. So. Oh, this is going to be fun. Incineroar. Yeah, please let me know, Demolator. Have you watched the Pokemon series with Alola? When Ash goes to Alola? Um, and you see how powerful Cineral is as the professor uses him and he just annihilates everyone, just takes hits and it's just crazy. Um, I do really like the Alolan version and that was a jet energy that I actually wanted. It's fine. I can just do a Pidgeot search. Oh. All right. It's fine. And I'm going to do this just for funsies, by the way. A 420 HP and do 260 damage. Don't matter if you've got a hero escape. It matters when I've got a hero escape. <laughs> oh, it's just mean. Oh, it's just mean. Incineroar is just a boost. I keep doing the same amount of damage as well, about 1,200 damage each match when I win. Okay, so we want to use this one. This is the one I've customized. Um, hopefully, I've optimized it. I'm actually using the build transfer. Uh, if you didn't know, you look at the top eight cards of your deck. Any Pokemon you find there, uh, you put into your hand. So if you find, say, four Pokemon... You put all four Pokemon on your hand in your hand. So it could actually help with a search. Uh, I've still got one evolution in here. The same amount of jets. I've put an extra Iona just to help with cycling the hands. And yeah, let's see how we get on with this. Incineroar. I love it. I love it. It is so cool. Incineroar. Right. Okay. So we're going to go for heads. And we found that. So we either, they're going to choose either we're going to go first or they're going to go first. I don't know. Ah. Uh, do you think, I I think um, I will be adding the debt list. Well, you can see the debt list, what I've changed in the video. And just adjust the debt list, what's in the description for the Pidgeot version. Uh, a Litten and a Buddy Puffin. That's cool. I want to know what they're playing first. The plane still, that looks like colourless energy. It's a Marider. That's why I wanted to go second. Okay. Uh, no Pidgeots here. I haven't got a Pidgeot. I swear I've got no Pidgeot. Yeah. I haven't got a Pidgeot. Uh, yeah, I am definitely not putting a Pidgey, Pidgey down. Hi, oh, hey, real. How are you? And you're back. That's great. Um, I am not going to be playing a Pidgeot against a 
Iron Hands because it's just the instant free prizes for them. Uh, yeah. And don't forget, Cinewall can one shot Iron Hands stupidly easy. And they liked bench stuff as well. So after the stall, I lost. I did lose, and it was really, really, really cringe and annoying. Uh, and I mean really annoying. But it's it's just one of them. It happens. Um, it does happen. All right, okay. What can I do here? I've got an extra energy. So I am going to put it there. Then I'm going to do this. Uh, Arvin would find me Right, have I got Good pages About that Let's see. Can I survive? I can survive. And I can attack also. Alright, right, I'm going to do this. I'm definitely getting rid of the Pidgeots. And I'm going to have the Littons ready for that. And then I'm just going to start nuking. And I'm going to use the Arvin next... So that I can get the hero's cape. Iona. Cool. So I'm going to start charging up the other litten, I think. So they can't use counter catch on me to kill the litten. Uh, but I'm going to go Arvin. Hey. Will it be enough? It might be enough. I'm not sure. Uh, what's the next deck I'm going to be building? Um, what have I built already? I've built I've built quite a lot, to be honest with you. Um, what have I got? I've done a Turbo Dialga, and it's stupid. It's like. Maraidon Peony deck where you got like 18 energy and it's just like just pure aggression. Um it's so good. Uh, that's coming out my next deck video. I think that comes out Monday. Um I've done a Chin Pao one with Silene. I've done a Chinchino Lugia where it's the most optimal. I'm pretty sure it's the most optimal. I've done a maximum about Arceus uh, Volpix deck which is really strong i've done a turbo gouging fire as well which i've managed to get it working so yeah it's been really interesting um but i have got loads more to build i've got built but right, okay so i need to put an energy hero's cape will not be enough will it okay um will the hero's cape give me enough hp Um, right, and they just conceded. <laughs> and they can't bench see the thing is with them they can't they have to bench loads so they can use heavy patan and then they put onto another iron hands but then that juices up makes me able to attack for less energy i reached it i reached charizard rank 
Yay! I don't think I've ever reached this high. Oh. Oh, a future box deck. I have got one. What do we get from this? Oh, nice. Um, I have actually got one. Do you want to see one? I think I've got a few. I've got this as well. So I I, I, I literally built a competitive Oinkalong EX. Because we've got Buddy Buddy Puffin now. So all of these Pokemon can be searched out with Buddy Buddy Puffin. And then you combine that with Eerie that can destroy item cards from your opponent's hands. Shown's Care. Four Shown's Care. So if you do any damage to it, just pick it back up. Put it on another one. Attack again. Uh, Pokemon Headquarters to mess with other Pokemon. Salvatore. Because it doesn't have an ability, we can evolve it first turn, going second. And attack. Yeah. With Oinkalong, by the way. We've got Crisis Punch, the evolution. Oh, Gift Energy. We've got V Guard. We've got Jet Energy. It's it's disgusting. And Rigid Band just make us a little bit more chunky. And Judges and Ionos and a Hero's Cape. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Um, what else? You want to see a. Uh, where have I got it? Mm -mm. These so everything you see that's got this deck box and sleeves is a brand new deck I have built either today, yesterday, or Friday. It look I, I haven't tested it yet though, but on paper it looks stupid, strong, and then so annoying to go against. Ah, yeah. So I have got two future boxes. Um. I've got Copper Raja, Future Box 1. So I've got the Iron Leaves, Iron Bundle, two Iron Hands, three Iron Crowns, an Iron Valiant, a Mew EX, and three Moridons with a Reboot Pod. Reboot, yeah, Reboot Pod. With mixtures of energies with the generators. Um, I'm not too sure if that one's going to be the best one, though. I'm pretty sure this one. This is going to be the one. If you want a debt list, copy this one. Two iron hands, uh, two iron leaves, iron hands, three iron crowns, one iron valiant, a mu ex. An Iron Boulder, which can just destroy other decks, especially Lugia. This can uh, hit for weakness, for fighting, and still, if you've got a booster on it. Three Moridons, Energy Switch, Earthly Vessels, Vacuums, Reboot Pod, Switches, Techno Radar, which is broken, en uh, Energy Share, XP Share, Boosters. You name it, it's got it, and it's disgusting. Oh, you want to see the oink? I, I am looking forward to using testing this out. Where's my oink? My super dupe. The reason I call it super oink um, is because I've got the hero's cape. So it makes it a superhero, so why not? Um, but it, it looks disgusting, doesn't it? So uh, let me know when you've got this bit, and I'll scroll down to the bottom. It's a shame you can't do like a full... Oh, wait a minute. No, I can. Can I? No, I can't. Wait, no. Wait, yeah, okay. No. Okay, got it. And I'm going to move it up to the top. So you can take the screenshot there. Um, I don't think I'm going to be changing anything on it. But when I do a depth profile on it, I might change. I don't know. I'll be testing it first. And then when I do my deck intro, I...
give you the best version of that deck list that's done the best. Uh, so you get the best version. Um, but I haven't tested this out. But on paper, it looks stupid strong. You're welcome, real. I appreciate the uh, the interest, especially in my Super Oink. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to use the Incineroar tonight. It is a Incineroar, and I've finally reached the Charizard rank. Now, my next challenge is to reach this rank. Uh, elf, Elif, is it Elif? Elif? Um, and maybe hit the Ultra Ball rank. I want it. I do want to get to Arceus rank now. I wonder if they've made it too easy to do it, though. I'm not too sure. I don't think the chat box is big enough, you know. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it. During the stream, it's not good. Oh, right, I need to make it bigger, I think. Um, width. That looks better. At least you can see the stuff anyway. Yes, I'll go first. And I've messed with it with this. Can I rotate? Oh, sorry. I'll just hide that. Just going to hide that for now. Just so people can see the chat and what I'm actually saying. Because it's it's cutting stuff out. It's really annoying, but it's fine. Um, right. So we get on. And... Oh, Alugia. Okay. So... I've mulliganed again. Really? Uh, I'm going to put the Pidgey up. And then that. Are they going first or am I going first? I can't remember. Wait. I'm going first. Okay. I'm happy with that. To be fair. So, I've got an Arvin here, which is an instant rare candy. So, I can go rare candy Pidgey up. But I need energy, though, don't I? Oh, that's a problem. I do need energy. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? Okay. Pidgeot will help me find what I need. I need to find energy. If I don't draw into an energy, I'm stuck. There's a gift. It's smart to put the gift on the Snorlax. Oh, can we... Oh, there's the energy. That's great. Right, okay. Uh... Arvin would get me the rare candy. I need. Or should I just do choice belt? Cineral jet. I haven't got fire energy though. So uh. All right. Let's fill the board. 
Right. I was going to go where can in everything else. Um, but I wouldn't be able to attack. And then I would have gave up a two prizer there. At least if they can set up, at least I can actually survive a little bit. Um, to be honest. Right, so I've just lost the Pidgeys the, and the Incineroar there. Oh, that's just terrible. Now, can you... Oh, you've got the Master Ball to find probably an Archaeops. And then you're going to discard the Archaeops. Oh. Oh. I think I've been sitting down too long. One sec. That might help. Oh, that's better. Right. Let's put the seat down. Oh. It's all right. My bottom was going numb because I've been sitting here for two hours straight. Not bad. Um. Okay. There's a collapsed stadium. It'd be the Valley Cat. I can bring it back. I've got another one in the deck. Hey. Okay. Are you just going to put on the Lugia? I need a rare candy though. I do need a rare candy. Oh, that's a lot of energy. Why would you put five on him? Okay. Right. I have got a hope. I can do something here. <laughs> Oh my god. Right. So I get the Pidgey up. I haven't got any fire energy though. Oh, that's a problem. Why can't I find fire energy anywhere? It's really annoying. I found fire energy, but I haven't found anything else. <laughs> but everyone is just, just tuning in seeing this going what on earth are you doing and i don't honestly know anymore now but my bottom's feeling better now sitting on the cushion i think i need to get one of them like if we're going to do like really long streams one of the memory foam thingies that go on your bum now when you sit on it i don't know what they're called But one of them would be cool. Right, so you're going to charge up everything. Okay. And 
he's going to take an extra prize here. And he's charging up a Chinchino as well. Okay. There goes that. I'm going to put this one up. Okay. All right. And we have got some energy in there now. Two jets. <laughs> okay. And let's min out a little bit more energy, actually. Let's do bill transfer. Nice. What was the top cards? That. That's okay. Bye bye, Chinchino. Um. Okay. You was going to do Heroes Kate, but it's fine. There's that. How many energies have they got left? He's got five there. He's just lost five, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13. They normally use about 16 energies, so they're almost out of energies, by the way. He's almost out of energy. Has he got enough for Snorlax? All right, so he's souped up a chart. Oh, why would you put it on there? Right, okay. Heads. Which is going to be a Michino. Yeah, Chinchino. Right, okay. You can do Tempest Dive. And I can find... Okay. So an Iona and mess with their hand a little bit. Incineroar. Awesome. I think I've lost some of them. I haven't got any more in the deck. Uh, quick search for... Um, this. <laughs> right that is 10 energies in the discard pile and he hasn't got enough for Minchino he can kill this with the Snorlax but I am going to go Hero's Cape on this Incineroar and not this Snorlax out. Right. Did you see the damage I was doing then? How much damage did I do? Uh, 440 damage. Oh, yeah, it's real. It's real. This Incineroar is crazy. And there's a reason why I put two of these in. Because you can guarantee you're going to prize one. And I don't put the heavy ball in. So I might as well put two in. And it just guarantees me to be able to do stupid amounts of damage. Now, they can, they're going to go to two. I know they're going to go to two. All right. I'm going to lose this Incineroar. They're going to go to sleep. 
right? And I think that's all their energies in their hand. So I'm going to put um, Incineroar. I'm going to keep this jet energy up as well. And then I am going to... Have I got another Litten? Oh. What have I got left? I've got a Litten there. And I am going to find... Hero's Cape. I've got an Incineroar. Have. And that. That on you. How many energies have I got in there? Five. So we need to put some. Uh, yeah. And I want to put another Incineroar in. Uh, and then I will put an energy on this <laughs> Litten. I uh, haven't attached yet, have I? So I can find... Yes, maybe. Or fire energy. No, I want a fire energy. I've got an ultra ball for the cinema, so it's fine. Um, I'm going to put it on you. Then I am going to do 240. Oh, dear. They have no way I got the energies for it. So they got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's not enough. You haven't got enough energy. In Cinevor. Don't forget, you got to do that. You know when people do this for hands, yeah? When a Cineroar becomes meta, everyone's going to be doing that. Oh, that's a tickle. You tickled me. That's a gentle tickle. Oh, dear. For you, that is. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the Pidgey up. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I did that wrong. I should have just attacked with the internal war. I would have been able to do about four three hundred damage. Oh, I messed up there. What did I do? I've had the game. I've had game. Oh my god, I can't believe I've had game and I messed that up. It's a good thing I got Pidgey up. Seriously. My God. Well, even Lugia can't beat this deck. And that's after I just misplayed to death. And I almost ruined it there. I mean, that's the kind of damage I would have done against the Lugia. 
And I've just left my right, my Incineroar in place with all that damage. And the Hero Cape is awesome, by the way. I'm nearly at the nearly next rank. Should we keep going? I think we are doing quite good here. Four wins. With my new Pidgeot deck. Okay. So. We are. Going to go. I'm going to go heads. Uh, I don't know why the text box needs to be so big. To fit everything in. Is it something that I can change the font? Can I interact with it? Can I put a filter? Can I mess with the font so I can or the text body color zero 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 merged auto overflow hidden. Oh, so I'm reading the code for my actual uh, chat box. First browser when seen becomes active. Read access from information. Cash control. Viva. That's better. All right. So with Mulligans, Dave Mulligans. Okay. And... Cynthia, I think it's a lost box deck. Two. Excellent. Am I going first or second? I'm going second. Okay. If I'm going second, if I could find an energy, which I can because I've got Arvin, I can do TM Evolution. Ah, oh, Stewie, you're back. Make it a wrap. Do you mean not like end the stream or? I'm not sure what you mean. Can you make it a wrap? No. And I will go for it. Siri, can you explain? I, I don't understand. Uh, don't think I'm going to need a choice belt. Evolution, and I'm going to go for this one and that, but I know I can't do that one. Okay. If I didn't have to talk cat, it would have been fine. Uh, can you make it a wrap? You don't, I mean, if you, if you, you don't have to, um, stay on if you don't want to. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm getting tired now. I mean, I've been streaming for two and a bit hours, um, but I do want to try and get a longer stream. Oh, make the text wrap where it spills out and the window. Yeah, I did. Uh, and I d Is this a store deck? Right. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, I use my, where's my relic ants? I've prize every single relic ant. Oh, that's nutty. All right. That's fine. We'll do that for nothing. Uh, no, make the text wrap where it spills out. Yeah, so I've got rid of the... the 
Um, Dingy Bob. The Tech Trap. Um, okay, no problem. Um, okay, I've got an Incineroar and I've got that. Um, I've got 10 damage on that. And then... That was a flop, wasn't it? We'll do 10. It's fine. Uh... Um, yeah, so we called it, um, text bo uh, borders, <laughs> which is the gold frame. I'm still tweaking it and it's really annoying. Um, I'm trying to make it so that it actually fits, uh, all the text and everything else. It's not the best though. There we go. I've refreshed it. Um, can I make it any wider, maybe? Is that better? Never mind, it makes 2.50 and I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm it's I'm getting tired as well. Okay, so um let's do a boss and we will knock out this and we can do this. And let's do ten. That's fine. Uh. All right. Okay. Twelve fifty. Is it twelve fifty? And I'm like, uh, so it's actually twenty. It's actually nearly one o'clock here. And yeah. I am doing a late, late, late one, but it's fine. Um, and I'm going to change that to the height to a thousand. Uh, 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 uh. No, I did that wrong. Wait a minute. Add a zero. There we go. That's better. Did you just do 120 damage to me? You mean person. If I've got anything else I can use. No. And I'm top drawing at the minute. And I'm not doing too well. Right. Okay. Let's see what we find here. Because this is a... Do you know what kind of deck this is? Because I think it's just a Malwak. Increased damage to Malwak. Yeah, I think I need to just figure it out. So if I do this, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it's a text border. Is that not bigger? There we go. It's not taking up too much of the stream. Oh, yes, you are, Stewie. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. At least it's, at least it's, well, it's Sunday now. At least it's the weekend, 130. That's still not enough to knock me out, but it's fine. Uh, 
Magna Basin. That she's good. Pop this out. Give me something good. Oh, Relican. Awesome. Uh, they're going to confuse me now. I know they will. There's a Roiku. Oh, this is going to be interesting, Siri. Honestly, I think it is. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Because he's already done quite a lot of damage to my Incineroar. I need to put my Hero's Cape on just so I can survive a little bit longer. I think I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, I'll find a gold trim to go around it later on. I'm confused now. So when I'm confused... Um, Okay. This confusion's really getting to me. How the how am I supposed to get past this without doing anything else? I should have knocked this out by now. Oh really? And then I'm confused again. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, really? That is not fair. How can I get two towels in a row? Actually, no, I've got four towels in a row. This person has got lucky. He's nuking me at the minute. What is going on? I can't get my Pidgeot going. I am top drawing. What is going on? This person is messed with me properly. I own her. Okay. I need to put some stuff back in. I need my that. I need that. And I need that. Actually, no. I need this. And I'm going to I own her. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to knock this out. Right. I own her. Hopefully, these eye owners will mess with them enough. I'm not too sure. And this Bonzor is annoying me. Big time. You are annoying. What an annoying Pokemon. <laughs> and he's just done Cynthia. Really? Another Malwak. Shouldn't have bent these Pokemon down. Damn. Oh, I need to evolve this Pidgey. Right. Uh, right. 
Win and she. Ten will win this. I don't know. If he gets another one of these uh, Malawax, I am buggered. Really, a rock sand. I had, a ch I literally had a PG in hand. Oh no, no, that's not too bad actually. Okay, and he's confused me again. Right. Okay. Let's kill this thing and do this. Oh, he's gone. He's finally gone. He's confused me about four or five times in a row, like, and I've hit tails, and it's done 30 damage, knocked out my own Pokemon. And then his Malwak sniping the bench before, and then messing with my hand before I can even get a Pidgeot EX on the go. Oh, it's crazy. This deck is... It's annoying. It's very annoying. But it, it's 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 strong. Don't get me wrong. Right. What are you planning here? What are you planning? I'm weak to water, not fighting. Switch. Lucario. Cynthia. What have you got? Is there a way of him getting two prizes here? We can do 150. But it's not enough. Say, look. I ain't got enough to energy attack. Energy for attack. Oh, that's a lot. And I won. Yay, he's winning again. This is really doing good. I like it. Right. Comment down below. Please let me know if you are new streaming. You just came in uh, and you haven't chatted. Let me know. Ah, that's a very good idea. I forgot about that. And it can get me an energy, a Pokemon at all, and a stadium. It might not help me find the Pokemon, though. I mean, I did do a build uh, build transfer the match before, and it actually found me an Incineroar. So it can find you Pokemon. It could find you multiple Pokemon. And it doesn't matter if the EX is or anything. <laughs> with clap stadium yeah you keep i'll keep seeing that too but I'll, I'll try it out with the rock sun's backup and that does allow me to get a jet energy back as well so if i get one more win i'll go into the next rank and i think i'll be on six win streak with this deck i don't know what i am on it the silent rabbit Ooh, i should be scared i think i should be worried it's got rabbit in it I'm losing every coin toss at the minute. I think I need some better sleeves and stuff and a better coin. Oh, well. I thought it'd be... I've only been using the Iron Leaves um, set of sleeves and booster box because I paid about two and a half thousand of them purple credit things, diamond, diamond thingies. And I just want to get my credits worth, you know. Um... Out of them. And plus, I do like the look of them. I just don't like the coin. I think the coin's not that good. I really can, really. 
Am I going first? Did I choose to go first? Oh, he's going second. And after all I've got is a relican. Oh, it's a Dialga. It's a Dialga. Oh, no, I need that. Get rid of that. Fin at the deck. I'm going to put an energy on you just so I can actually retreat. Uh, oh, of course, if you... Yeah, that's the only thing. I, that's why I had the bill in there. But the the Roxanne's backup isn't a bad idea getting the cape again. Um, it's really just getting the cape, really, and a, maybe a jet energy. But I might go back to the bill transfer because it will... I hope it would work. I mean, I could always go for Jacques instead. That's a better idea. A Jacques. Find an evolution. Maybe we should just swap it for a Jacques. I think a Jacques might be better. Just one of. And if I get it, I can get a Pidgeot and or a um Torka and a um Doodad, um Incineroar. They've just done an evolution. I'm still behind. <laughs> but I have got the weakness the weakness is going against them oh it's copper raja i like copper raja i need 100 percent that and one of them Right. Oh, you're joking. I've tried. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. Should I have the Pidgeotto in this deck? I don't know. Is it worth having the Pidgeotto in this deck? So then that wouldn't happen. And at least then I could have just Pidgeot next turn. Um, I don't know. Right, they're going to do double Matang. They're definitely going to have a Copper Raj here now. There's an energy detached. They've got to have enough. Metal Maker will help them out. Ooh, let's see. Come on. Come on, Incineroar. Be my friend. Be my friend. He's being my friend at the minute. Um. I'm making sure. The next turn. Next turn. Um, because I actually only need to get a um, incinerate, incineroar, and that's it. I, I'm pretty much going to be knocking out everything. So I've just had to play it safe there. I mean. And I still... Right, so I think I'm going to put a Jacques in. Uh, just so I can find the Evolution Pokemon. Which is always good. Is the TM Evolution worth it though? Without having the Pidgeotto in there? Don't think so. I think it's worth... If I have the Pidge... If I'm going to use the TM Evolution... Then it's probably worth using having the Pidgeotto in the deck. So 
Hmm. But it does add an extra Pokemon, which will mess with the ratio. Oh, I don't know. But I definitely want two in uh, Tour Cats because it makes it easier against evolution decks. Okay, 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 okay. I'm doing this. I'm going for it. Incineroar all the way. All the way, baby. Retreat. Put the Incineroar. Attach the NG. And obliterate. Obliterate. It's like Exodia. Now, if you know what that is, fair play. It is a uh, like instant win with in Yu-Gi-Oh, where if you get all five pieces of Exodia, you win the match. Um, yeah. I played two tour cats, one hundred one hundred HP, and the other one that has a certain thing. All right. Oh, the backup. Now, if this was a Jacques, I would have been really good. Now, what could I get from this? I can get an energy and a Pokemon and that. Let's do it. Sorry, let's do it. So we can get one, two, three. <laughs> I've got to do it, and I. You've got to do it. Did you just see the damage? Oh, look at that. One thousand, one hundred damage. <laughs> yes, you're going to be able to knock it out. Okay. Right. That's one. Can you find another one off the other Matang? And you can. So you can do the 220 and knock that out. Okay. Okay. He's going to get two prizes here. I am going to sacrifice one of these Pidgeys here. Because I don't know if I'm going to get anything at the minute. Magna Basin. I need to put you down. Put you down. And end turn. Oh no, I should have played the Magna Basin and put that down. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, one thousand one and a thousand and ten. One thousand and ten damage in one attack. Which is still uh five hundred and five damage technically. So not bad. I can go behind a little bit here if I need to. I'm going to put the Magda Basin down as well, and I'm going to put some energy on to this. And then I'm going to do Call for Family. I'm going to thin out the deck a little bit more. Uh, I'm kind of stalling at the minute. I've kind of stalled out. I've got four Ionas, four Arvins and other stuff and I ha can't find anything at the minute right can you charge up this enter um 
Copper Archer. Like, that's one Metal Maker. We can still do 100 and knock this out, but I need to put the Red Kelly in next turn or I've lost. 100%. Right. If I don't top draw something right now, I've lost. I don't see me coming back. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. You win. They won. He won. He won. He won that. I couldn't get anything. I need to change. I need to add some stuff. So, if you're just tuning in, yes, I am Rushi. I make deck profiles and deck videos, and I play at regionals and internationals. And I'm going to London International next month in April, April 5th. And I am hoping to do quite well. I'm planning to do well. I'm practicing to do well. I still haven't decided on which deck I'm definitely going to use. It's t I'm torn between either a Lost Box, a... Uh, Lugia V Star, Chinchino, or Arceus Guillotina leaves. So I'm not too sure yet. Do I need some extra draw? I definitely need a shark. Where's the shark? Shark, shark, shark. I went past it. There you are. I'll put a fancy one in there. Uh, definitely need a shark. Do I need anything else? Now, I said I needed to put in something else, didn't I? What could I cut? What could I cut? For add a Pidgeotto, but it wouldn't mess with it, wouldn't it? Uh... No, you need the four ovens, don't you? No, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Let's see. Uh, I'm. Yeah, you're going to... Oh, you're going to Spectate at London. Are you going for the three days or are you just going for like, the one day? Um, because it's, a, it's a three day event. London International is a three day event. And I don't know if it'll be going on for me for three days or it's going to be Friday, Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting. Um, apparently, it's going to be the biggest tournament in TCG history. Um what I've been told is that there is 2,500 Masters people playing in the Master Group at the London International for the TCG. 2,500 Masters. So that is nutty big. Um, and then that's not including juniors and seniors as well. Um yeah, it's going to be absolutely nutty. And I don't know if I'm going first or not. I see a Rotom. But I don't see a Charmander. I'm not betting anything else. Cool. So you're going on day two, so you'll be able to see what's going on. <sighs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I need an Arvin, and I need... Uh, evolution 
and that. Right? Do I need anything else? I've got red candy. Yeah, it's fine. So I'm going to go for that. Buddy Puff in. Two of them. And uh, I'm going to earthly vessel away this. Get some energies in the discard pile. And then I am going to put this on here. And I am going to evolution these two. Awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be crazy, crazy big. Rotation happens on the 5th, right, in TCG tournament. On the 5th of April, E-card will not be allowed to be used. And it will be everything after E, so F up to H, can be used. So it's going to be the first tournament, official TCG tournament, that... Rotate on it happens on rotation, and there'll be no one knows what the meta is really going to be on the day. So you literally have to plan for everything, and you just people are going to bring so many random decks. There's going to be Incineroar decks. There's going to be Walking Wakes decks. There's going to be Lost Box decks. There's going to be Ancient Future Turbo Iron Hands. There is going to be absolutely everything. What is going on here? Okay, I don't know what he's playing, and I'm not benching the Redican. So I'm just going to fill out the deck a little bit more. And I'm going to do a call for family as well. And get you two, uh, actually one of these down. I'm not doing four. Okay, end the turn. Uh, yeah, so it's really going to be crazy. And no one knows what people are going to be using. What's going to be the most popular deck there? People are planning that it's going to be like in Ch Japan. It's going to be Charizard EX. Which does make sense because Charizard has gained and not lost anything. And it's strong anyway. Um, also, Chimpao has got stronger. It hasn't lost. It's gained. I think, I don't know if it's going to be an ancient deck. I don't think the single prize ancient deck is strong enough yet. But Future Box could have a chance, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it could. It could have a chance. Okay, so we're going to go you, you, you. And I'm going to get an Incineroar. Uh, I can't attack yet. Uh... Yeah, it's a stall deck. That's why I haven't put the Relican down. Um, I'm just going to find... Um, Magda, um, my earthly vessels and then go from there. I'm going to Iona again just to keep messing with them. They haven't benched anything though, which is really weird. It's definitely probably a stall deck. So I'm so glad I'm not using the Redicants at the minute. I'm not benching anything that can't attack. Yeah, it's a stall. But I think maybe, I think Future Box and Turbo Iron Hands have a very good shot at winning at Internationals. He's, he's gone. All right, fair enough. All right. I'll take the win. That means I'll get higher up. 
Oh, I'm so close. I've got to hit that rank before I finish. Um, but yeah, I think Future Box, I think Ancient... I mean, a Gaussian Fire deck, which is an ancient box, could do really well. Because um, it's just pure aggression and speed. And he can just hit like a truck. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. It, it, it's it's going to be one of them. Wait and see. And I'm learning my lesson not to bench the uh, red cans until I need to. Right, okay. I can definitely do it now. It's fine. I wish that actually did more damage because then we could actually use it to knock out Iron Hands, but it's fine. Um, it's going to be out of Charizard, Lugia, Chimpal, Lost Giratina, a Lost Box deck, a Future Box deck. Am I missing one? Maybe even Garnivore. Um, could do something. Not too sure. Well, I'm not going Pidgeot in this, this match. And turn. No Pidgeots. No, no, no. No Pidgeots. I just need an Ultra Ball now and half and I'll be happy. Um, yeah. So wait, so Charizard, Chimpow, Future Box, Turbo Hands, Garnivore, Lugia, Lost Giratina, a Lost Box deck with, like, Roy Moon and Iron Hands and some of the stuff. Um, Arcus Giratina. I think they all have a chance of doing well. It's whatever the top players choose to use and how many of said decks are being used. I don't know how many they're going to be, um, to be honest. All right, so you're going to celebrate to that. Okay. Well, that's well annoying. And these are going to only going to try and bench little little energies here. A little po He's not going to bench too many Pokemon here. So I am going to put this Redican up. Litten up. Okay. Uh We've got a Magna Basin and that. So we can go for this. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I've got... An... Just in case. Sure, I just want one. And I doubt I'm going to find Incineroar and that. But I'm going to put one here. Iron hands. Yeah, I, di I didn't think I was going to get it there. Alright, so we can go for the Magna Basin and the Arvon. And I can get in Torcat. Yeah. And then just do 10 to you. Little poke. Just doing a little poke at you. Alright. There's the Iron Crown. I think that's almost made this live. Two. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm definitely live now. Research. 
Okay. Oh, he's going out or all out on me now. Oh, don't slow down for me. Not for my sake. <laughs> uh, he's going to put a heavy baton on that iron hands now. Okay. All right. All right. You want to play. You want to play. I will play. Let's play. Oh, it's exactly what I needed as well. And I'll grab a choice belt and then do an Arvin to find a cape and something I want to throw away. Now, I would like to throw away one of them. Right, so. Boom, dead. And he's going to transfer him to Iron Hands now. Right. That, that's not useful. Okay, maybe I should have um, grabbed... Instead of an energy uh, a counter catcher and then counter catch it for next turn. Hmm. Okay. You're doing an extra 60 at the minute, which is 100. That puts it at 120. Uh, I still, it still can't one shot me with that, but he can get free prizes though. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm actually doing that anyway. Right. Iona. I can use that. Right. Hmm. He's softening this up to win it all. And I don't know what else I can do against it. Have a bit of time. I didn't want to put the Pidgeot up front though, because it's just it's just a target. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should play differently with this deck. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I mean I've been playing it. A good chunk now. But I think I still need I think I need some more support cards in this deck. In case you don't want to go the Pidgeot route. Um you can do another hundred. He's doing hundred and forty at the minute. He actually got an energy. That's nuts. So now he's doing 60 plus that's 180. He 
Still not enough to knock me out there. Still not enough. Right. 180 is 400. Has he got another? He hasn't. You haven't got the Iron Crown. If you haven't got the Iron Crown or the booster, how many boosters has he used? Please don't have a booster. I survive if he doesn't use a booster. Ah, I'm, he was just shy. He was just about there. He only just done it. Ah. It's just enough. Look how hard it was for him to knock me out. And he gets the free prizes as well. Oh, well. I got really close there. And I've lost 10 points. Right, I am thinking, 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 and I want two of these. Just so you can draw more. Okay. One more match. I keep saying this. One more match. I want to hit whatever rank it is above Charizard. Because um, I'm at Charizard rank, and I only need one win to reach the goal I want. I think maybe Pidgeot, if you use the Pidgeot. Uh, it is a risk using two, a two-prize app um, that's weak to electricity in this, in this format. Um, but battle, it could still be, you know, you take an extra prize for the battle. Um, but when you're playing... I think the Pidgeot's better for Stall against Stall, and it's also better against Charizard. Uh, if you get set up, um, but Bell, it has its ups and downs. I don't think it's as fast, and not being able to search all the time what you need is a problem. But I think the, I, I think it's really close. The Pidgeot and the um, Pidgeot and the Babel in Cineor is really, really, really close. Right, okay. We want that there. And we're going to put... Uh, we're not going to put that on. And on... Ooh, no. I'm not putting that down either. <clears throat> All right. So we got Incineroar guaranteed. If they fill up the board, which they might do because they're going to use Body Buddy Puffin now, And if they do a 180 attack to my uh, yeah, if he does 180 to my Incineroar, I can just nuke the Charizard. So, buddy, buddy, puffin, put two extra down. Go on, you know you want to. Put one more Pokemon down. 
Go on. Go on. Damn. Oh, he's going to do the evolution, though. Okay. I need a Pidgey down, though, but it's still good what I can do here. Charizard, Charizard. Okay. Oh, so he's doing the Pidgey Art so That's what I was thinking about doing. But I don't know where I can cut from. I could get rid of one of the Jets, but I do like having the Jets. Uh, and I am going to just incinerate everything. TM Revolution. I might put the Radiant Charizard down next. Just as a cover. Oh, we'll see. Ooh. Right, comment down below. Which one is your favourite fire Pokemon? Is it Cinnaroar? Is it Charizard? Is it Armour Rouge? Or is it Helm Doom? Or Heatran? Or uh, Infernate? Um, what's the one, the pig fighting one? What's the one that comes from... Um, oh... What is he called? Little Pig Fire Starter Pokemon. I can't remember what the name is. Comment down below if you know what the name is. I can't remember it. Here's the Charizard. Right. To be fair, Charizard is actually a really good matchup against Insert New War. Incineroar, that does have. If we get the Redican down, we can just nuke him. But I need to get it down, and I haven't got it. Okay, I need to find an, a support card ASAP. Now, I was going to boss up this. Or. Okay. Two ten. I need a Redican. Give me a supporter. <laughs> yes. Needed um, a relic can. So then I can do thingy. He'll go down to four. Let's put some damage on this. Right, so... Can I do this? If I had the red account, I would have been fine. But I don't have it. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to add into the deck that could actually really help me here. Um, would it be better to have... A shark or Monty's or thing is people will play less Pokemon because we are playing in Cinema. So is this the best choice? Is it just worth going for uh research in the deck? I know it would lose like a shark and super rod and choice belt, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Can I win this? I was a super rider and an evolution. He's going to switch. Okay, that's really annoying. Uh, right. He's got Pidgey up, so he can boss up whatever he wants. So I've got to be able to do something here. I don't think I can do anything here anyway. Yeah. GG, GG. I am done for tonight. Yeah, maybe a double turbo. It would limit the damage a little bit. Mm. Not sure. All right, let's have a look. All right. Definitely no Montes. Okay. And I think I'm going to get rid of the Jacques. I need something that draws well. Enough. Every time. And it might have to be <laughs> researches. So if we use researches, we run the risk of getting rid of rare candies. And I don't really see Yeah, we'll go for that. Maybe cut one of these jets. And put in... Not that. Pitch. Ruto. Reason is... We can TM evolution into a Pidgeotto. Okay. So, I think that'll be it for tonight. So, everyone, thank you for viewing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching me and talking to me. It does really warm my heart. <laughs> and, yeah, enjoy. And in cinema, to be fair, has done really, really well. Um, I don't know how many wins I actually got in total. But I did get quite a lot of wins. And I was going on quite a few streaks here. So I think the Incineroar Pidgeot is slightly better. But it's your preference. I think the Babao one is still really strong as well. So it's up to you. Comment down below which one you prefer. Uh, do you prefer the Pidgeotto, Pidgeot one, or do you prefer the um, Babao? All right. So you prefer Pidgeot or Babao? All right. I'd like to know down below. And yeah, I'm going to say good night and have a great one. See you then.